Right friends, welcome back to news at a glance. This is 46th week from 9th to 15th November. Look at the first one, US based industrial company General Electric. General Electric is the US based multinational company. It won the contract for 2.6 billion dollars from the Indian government that is basically from Indian Railways to build 1000 diesel engines over the next 11 years. It will set up manufacturing plant at Marhaura in Bihar. This is in Saran district of Bihar. Here diesel locomotive factory is coming up with the joint venture with General Electric and the other electric loco factory at Madhepura is coming up with the joint venture of Alstom which belongs to France. Now the foreign direct investment allowed in Indian Railways is 100% except safety and operations. So now the multinational giants are coming to India to establish joint ventures for manufacturing diesel locomotives as well as electric locomotives. Maggie Noodles is back on the shelves. Nestle India CMD is Suresh Narayanan. Based on the Bombay High Court order, Maggie Noodles were tested but FSSA is not satisfied. What is FSSA? FSSA is a food regulator. Food Safety and Standards Authority of India that is the food regulator that is approaching Supreme Court not satisfied with the decision of Bombay High Court. Look into the next one, Muhammad M. Wazi, popularly known as Jihadi John who is the man behind beheading of several western citizens is killed in USA air strike in Raqqa city in Syria. Raqqa is the de facto capital of ISIS which is situated in Syria, ISIS established the so called caliphate with the headquarters of Raqqa in Syria. They are holding several areas in Syria, not only Syria but also in Iraq. Next, European Union launched a 2 billion dollar fund to fight migration from Africa. Poverty and conflict are leading to migration from African countries. So please look into this picture. These are the group of 28 European Union countries. India got re-elected to the United Nations Commission on International Trade Law that is UNCTRAL for another 6 year term that is from 2060 to 2022. Jet Airways ordered the purchase of largest ever order of Jet Airways. This is 75 Boeing 737 MAX 8 aircraft at the Dubai Air Show and Jet Airways is purchasing the largest ever order and it costs 8.7 billion dollars and it is going to purchase 75 Boeing 737 MAX 8 aircraft. The first World Antibiotic Awareness Week was observed from November 16th to November 22 across the world but the unfortunate part is the resistance to antibiotics is on race across the world. The five day camel fair, one of the largest in the world was held at Pushkar, Rajasthan. This is the annual affair. You may ask where is Pushkar? Pushkar is around 15 kilometers away from Azmer in Rajasthan. And this is the one of the world's largest camel fairs. And you should not forget the camel population in Rajasthan is decreasing day by day. The Finance Minister of Kerala, which is involved in the alleged bar bribery scandal, resigned finally. KM Mani, the Finance Minister of Kerala, resigned. Controversy arose when the Karnataka government decided to celebrate the 265th anniversary of Tipu Sultan. Some people say Tipu Sultan is the ruler worth emulating, but some people say he is a religious fanatic. The discussion is going on. It created lot of controversy when the Karnataka government decided to celebrate 265th anniversary of Tipu Sultan. Bhutanese Prime Minister Sharing Tokbige visited India and participated in the India Ideas Conclave which was held in Goa. Famous film, television and stage actor Vikram Gokhale got famous Bhave award and this was instituted by Maharashtra government. Look into the next one, French intellectual and author Rene Girard passed away at the age of 91. Look at the next one, book What Happened to Netaji was authored by former journalist Anu Chiddhar. And please do not forget, 
central government decided to declassify the files pertaining to netaji on january 23 as decided in the meeting the prime minister had with the family members of netaji recently and please don't forget what happened to netaji was written by anuj dhar then marzi of khan was appointed the first woman ambassador of iran since 1979 islamic revolution and this shows uh, some liberal attitude towards women by iran in recent times and the country is yet to be decided and she will be the first woman ambassador from iran since 1979 islamic revolution santur maestro pandit shivakumar sharma was honored with aditya vikram birla kala shikhar award for lifetime achievement look at the next one international space station completed 15 years of continuous human presence in space it was launched in november 2000 by nasa with the assistance of other space agencies it has so far made 87000 revolutions of the air 220 people from 17 countries have lived aboard the iss and it has got the infrastructure of the size of a football field and remaining things i have given in this ppt please go through them a liberian Abraham Keita was awarded the prestigious International Children's Peace Prize of 2015 and don't forget this peace prize was instituted by Kids Rights Foundation based in Amsterdam the Netherlands this is annually awarded to a child who has made significant contribution working in vulnerable areas such as orphans child traffickers and children with hiv and aids and abraham kita a liberian got this award for the year 2015 kalyani kaul indian origin barrister in uk sworn in as the circuit judge in united kingdom and please don't forget the circuit judges or the judges in england and wales who sit in the crown court they are also called purple judges 12th asia europe foreign ministers meeting was held in luxembourg recently the coast guard's largest offshore patrol vessel samarth was commissioned at goa by the defense minister this offshore patrol vessel do the patrolling in the exclusive economic zone of 200 nautical miles away from the baseline and this is built by goa shipyard britain announced 2017 as the uk india year of culture this is basically in view of completing 70 years of india's independence we got independence in 1947 now britain announced 2017 as the uk india year of culture 10th edition of g20 summit was held in antalya turkey G20 is the group of uh, developed countries developing countries along with the European Union advanced torpedo defense system developed by DRDO the name of this torpedo defense system is Marich was handed over to the Indian Navy by our defense minister torpedo is the self propelled underwater missile right and look into the next one pakistan china kicked off 46 billion dollar china pakistan economic corridor project please look into this picture this economic corridor project connects the gwadar port in pakistan to kashgar city in china and the irony for india is it passes through pak occupied kashmir area please look into this picture part of it passes through pak occupied kashmir and the total cost of this is 46 billion dollars for this purpose recently pakistan handed over 2000 acres of land to china and this is basically constructing a highway pipelines and other infrastructure along this infrastructure corridor consumer price index based inflation in october rise to 5% which is the four month high northeast india's first exclusive hospital for elephants is coming up at kajiranga national park in assam then writer of children's books and wife of rk lakshman kamala lakshman passed away in pune look into the next one philippines is hosting apex summit 2015 previously 
Philippines hosted in the year 1996 and now after 19 years it is hosting the summit and please don't forget APEC is the group of 21 countries with headquarters in Singapore. Finally, Saina Nehwal satisfied with silver medal at 2015 China Open Super Series Premier Badminton Tournament. She reached finals but lost to League Zirai from China. League Zirai from China got the gold medal. 35th edition of India International Trade Fair. This happens every year in the month of November, Pragati Maidan, New Delhi and the President of the country inaugurated it recently. And a few points I would like to tell you. This is the common platform for traders, manufacturers, exporters and importers. The other point is theme for this year is Make in India. Partner country is Afghanistan. Focus country is Bangladesh. Then partner states are Goa and Jharkhand. Focus state is Madhya Pradesh. And this is held every year in the month of November. And India Trade Promotion Organization is the nodal agency which conducts this India International Trade Fair every year at Pragati Maidan in New Delhi. E Patshala, Saransh, and National Program on School Standards and Evaluation Framework web portals or mobile apps. These web portals as well as mobile apps were launched by the Human Resources Development Minister Shruti Irani. The 19th edition of Biennial. You may ask what is Biennial? This is held once in two years. That is why it is called Biennial. If it is biannual, that is twice in a year. Here it is Biennial. Biennial means once in two years. The 19th edition of Biennial International Children's Film Festival popularly known as Golden Elephant was held in Hyderabad from 14th to 20th of November. Right friends, with this let us conclude news at a glance for week 46. Have a nice day. Please do join for other modules. Thank you.